Now I'm here this morning to tell you why ethnobotanists like myself don't read science fiction. This is not a picture of a spider. This is a picture of a fungus. It's my favorite fungus, it's called cordyceps. Cordyceps lives quiescent on the forest floor and waits for insects and arachnids to go past. Once they do that, the fungus attaches itself to the insect exoskeleton. Once it's done that, the fungus burns a hole in the insect exoskeleton. It then it inserts itself inside the insect exoskeleton. It then proceeds to devour virtually all of the insect's non-vital organs. Once it's done that, the fungus invades the insect brain, eating only a part of the insect brain, causing the insect to climb to the top of the tallest tree in the forest. Once it does that, the fungus eats the rest of the insect brain, thereby causing the insect exoskeleton to split open, thereby allowing the fungus to release its spores 120 feet above the forest floor. <laughs> this is why ethnobotanists do not read science fiction. <laughs> this fungus is a source of cyclosporin. This is an immunosuppressant that makes organ transplant surgery possible. Nature is a deep treasure chest of mysteries and most of them still remain.